Ooh, so a lot of you have been asking for me to show you how to do flowers. So here's an even easier painting. I taped a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper and covered it with black paint. Now, if you do use paper, it does expand a little bit when it gets wet. So I use a hair dryer to dry it after this first step. Then I take a smaller brush and take some white. Um, and a little bit of black and I make a letter U. See that letter U? If you know your ABCs, you should be good with this. And then I'm going to fill it in with just up and down strokes like this. Don't worry about how uh, fancy the top looks. You don't have to worry about making it perfect because we're just gonna cover that with leaves then. Uh, we're pretending this is just a glass vase. Then I'm going to take a textured sea sponge and some light green and dark green. That's so important whenever you're painting anything green in nature. And I'm just gonna start bouncing it. Bounce it like a bunny, bounce, bounce, bounce. Cover that rough edge on your vase and just keep going. Give your flowers a nice home. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And you can fill up that whole top of the page, have it coming down over the side. Depends how many flowers you want. Now a tip, if you don't have a sea sponge, you can crumple up a paper towel and do the same exact thing. It gives it a very, very similar texture depending on how you crumple it up. So play around with that, tell me what happens. Then I'm gonna do something that a lot of artists are going to cringe at because they're kind of breaking the rules. We're going to smush a brush. This is just another type of makeup brush I got from Dollar Tree. So I have a special uh, set of them that I kind of ruin this way. But for a reason, take any two shades of a color, like a dark and a light and some white, and you just smush it over top of your leaves and that gives you flowers, just like magic. And the more you do um, with less paint, it gives you even more fun texture. I like to fill up my vase like that. Maybe some even fell off onto the table. <laughs> and you can do it with any color combination. So some of my other favorites are purple and yellow. Let me show you what the purple ones look like. They're really pretty and yellow ones too. Kind of look like marigolds like that. And you can even do a combination of colors. So purple and yellow sometimes go well too because they're complementary colors.